In mathematics, the dimension of a vector space V is the cardinality i.e. the number of vectors of a basis of V over its base field. It is sometimes called Hamel dimension after Georg Hamel or algebraic dimension to distinguish it from other types of dimension. For every vector space there exists a basis, and all bases of a vector space have equal cardinality. As a result, the dimension of a vector space is uniquely defined. We say V is finite dimensional if the dimension of V is finite, and infinite dimensional if its dimension is infinite. The dimension of the vector space V over the field F can be written as dimf V or as V F red dimension of V over F. When F can be inferred from context, dim V is typically written. Topic examples. <laughs> 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 The vector space R three has one zero 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 one zero 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 one Display style left begin P matrix one zero zero end P matrix begin P matrix zero one zero end P matrix begin P matrix zero zero one end P matrix right as a basis, and therefore we have DIMR R three. Topic three. More generally, DIMR RN N and even more generally, DIMF FN equals N for any field F. The complex numbers C are both a real and complex vector space. We have DIMR C. Topic two and DIMC C one. So the dimension depends on the base field. The only vector space with dimension zero is zero, the vector space consisting only of its zero element. Topic Facts If W is a linear subspace of V, then dim W dim V. To show that two finite dimensional vector spaces are equal, one often uses the following criterion if V is a finite dimensional vector space and W is a linear subspace of V with dim W. Topic Dim V, then W V Rn has the standard basis E one N, where A is the ith column of the corresponding identity matrix. Therefore Rn has dimension N. Any two vector spaces over F having the same dimension are isomorphic. Any bijective map between their bases can be uniquely extended to a bijective linear map between the vector spaces. If B is some set, a vector space with dimension, B, over F can be constructed as follows, take the set fluorine mono Borodae of all functions F, B F such that F B equals zero for all but finitely many B in B these functions can be added and multiplied with elements of F, and we obtain the desired F vector space. An important result about dimensions is given by the rank nullity theorem for linear maps. 
If f, k is a field extension, then f is in particular a vector space over k. Furthermore, every f vector space v is also a k vector space. The dimensions are related by the formula dimk v equals dimk f dim f v. In particular, every complex vector space of dimension n is a real vector space of dimension 2n. Some simple formulae relate the dimension of a vector space with the cardinality of the base field and the cardinality of the space itself. If V is a vector space over a field F then, denoting the dimension of V by dim V, we have If dim V is finite, then, V, equals, F, dim V. If dim V is infinite, then, V, equals max, F, dim V, equals Generalizations equals One can see a vector space as a particular case of a matroid, and in the latter there is a well-defined notion of dimension. The length of a module and the rank of an abelian group both have several properties similar to the dimension of vector spaces. The Krull dimension of a commutative ring, named after Wolfgang Krull (1899–1971), is defined to be the maximal number of strict inclusions in an increasing chain of prime ideals in the ring. Topic trace the dimension of a vector space may alternatively be characterized as the trace of the identity operator. For instance, tr id r2 equals tr 1001 equals 1 plus 1 equals 2. Display style operator name tr operator name id underscore math bf r caret 2 equals operator name tr left begin small matrix 1 and 0 0 and 1 end small matrix right equals 1 plus 1 equals 2. This appears to be a circular definition, but it allows useful generalizations. Firstly, it allows one to define a notion of dimension when one has a trace but no natural sense of basis. For example, one may have an algebra A with maps eta, k A display style eta colon k to A the inclusion of scalars called the unit and a map E a k display style epsilon colon A to k corresponding to trace called the kunet. The composition E eta k k display style epsilon circ eta colon k to k is a scalar being a linear operator on a one-dimensional space corresponds to trace of identity and gives a notion of dimension for an abstract algebra. In practice, in bialgebras one requires that this map be the identity, which can be obtained by normalizing the kunit by dividing by dimension E equals 1 n tr Display style epsilon equals text style frac 1 n operator name tr so in these cases the normalizing constant corresponds to dimension. Alternatively, one may be able to take the trace of operators on an infinite dimensional space, in this case a finite trace is defined, even though no finite dimension exists, and gives a notion of dimension of the operator. These fall under the rubric of trace class operators on a hilbert space or more generally nuclear operators on a banach space a subtler generalization is to consider the trace of a family of operators as a kind of twisted dimension 
This occurs significantly in representation theory, where the character of a representation is the trace of the representation, hence a scalar-valued function on a group chi g k display style g colon g to k whose value on the identity 1 element of g display style 1 in g is the dimension of the representation, as a representation sends the identity in the group to the identity matrix chi 1 g equals tr i v equals dim v Display style G one underscore G equals operator name TR I underscore V equals dim V. One can view the other values Chi G Display style G G of the character as twisted dimensions, and find analogues or generalizations of statements about dimensions to statements about characters or representations. A sophisticated example of this occurs in the theory of monstrous moonshine. The J invariant is the graded dimension of an infinite dimensional graded representation of the monster group, and replacing the dimension with the character gives the Mackay Thompson series for each element of the monster group. See also Basis linear algebra Topological dimension, also called Liebesgay covering dimension Fractal dimension Krull dimension Matroid rank Rank linear algebra equals equals notes <laughs>